Philadelphia. Hey. Hey. My name is Mike. I am from Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. <laughs> not the reaction I expected. <laughs> It is, it is weird. I mean, it's, it, it's not as sophisticated as the large town in Philadelphia. Lancaster is a whole different kind of place. I mean, for example, my mom is my favorite aunt. <laughs> we have that. And it, it's kind of weird because we get something that I never really understood in Lancaster. We get New Jersey tourists. <laughs> because if I had to choose between the beach or the Amish, yeah, the Amish, sure. And it's weird because apparently New Jersey is full of robbers and thieves because none of them are allowed to pump their own gas. <laughs> and they get to our fair town of Lancaster, pull up to our Wawa, and when they get out to try to pump gas, when couples do it, it sort of looks like two 14-year-olds having sex for the first time. <laughs> like they know the hose is supposed to go in the hole, but they're not really sure how to get it in there. <laughs> She starts bitching that he isn't doing it right. They finally get it in there, and he pulls out too soon and just sprays shit everywhere. I realize after telling that joke, I need to make one thing clear. I've never actually watched 14 year olds have sex. <laughs> Megan has made a list, but I am not on it. Don't let the mustache fool you. <laughs> And I love this mustache, it's awesome. And if I ever go blind, I can know exactly how old somebody is. Because like 20 to 30, they tell you how creepy you look. You know, 30 to 40, they tell you, you know, what are you trying to be, Ron Jeremy? And then everybody 60 plus tells you to put up your dupes. I don't have any dupes. Yeah, no, I don't know anybody in here has ever been married before, um, or is currently married. Good, you guys failed that part, cool. Um, I, was, I was married for a bit, and, and every marriage, and I gotta tell you, the best way to end all your marriage fights by far is divorce. <laughs> Done. One stop shopping for marital problems, and, and it's really interesting, we have that day, and everybody who's ever been through divorce has that day where you know this is over. We're driving down the road, and, and I don't know, guys, if, even if you're in a long-term relationship, usually after like year one, ladies, you've heard every cool thing we've ever done. Because <laughs> we didn't expect you to come back after day one. And, and I just blurted out of nowhere, I said, you know, we're very proud of my sister. She is a four-year Penn State graduate. Sometimes people applaud their assholes. <laughs> anyway, but I know, and, and I just blurted it out. It's weird because, you know, at that time you could be proud of a degree from Penn State University. <laughs> and my wife blurts out, she goes, wow, you know, that's just a public school. Wow. <laughs> right, right? So me being the smart guy that I am, kept my mouth moving and these words escaped. <laughs> really, do you have a degree? <laughs> Yeah, that, that's, like, that's like day two information, not year four information, you know? And, uh, and she said something I'll never forget. She said, well, yes, I have a teaching degree from Empire Beauty School. <laughs> I think University of Phoenix would have been a better answer for that. It was a very, very awkward ride. We finally, finally get to the bar that we were going to, and we walked in, and there was these three very, very large gentlemen out by the counter, and they were laughing. And if anybody has had, you know, a female friend who's a little self-conscious, you walk in where there's laughing, those people are laughing at her. Now, these three guys kind of look like pagans. Not, not the religious ones, the ones that ride the Harleys. And uh, she goes, you go take care of that shit. <laughs> so I, I walk up to these guys and I had a memory in my mind, I used to be a punk rocker and I went to go see the business up in New York City back in about 92 and I am that old unfortunately but um, that, that, I ended up in a fight up there and it, it ended with the doctor saying Mr. Boyer we're about to staple your head shut <laughs> to which I responded is there some sort of anesthesia to which he said Mr. Boyer you don't have insurance clank 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 <laughs> So I got that flush in my head, and I'm walking up to the largest gentleman, and I said, listen, I know you weren't laughing at my wife. I knew you were just, you know, having a joke. Listen, let's all do a shot of the eight or my the drink of peace. <laughs> and we can get this solved. He said, oh no, we were playing our favorite game. Do you know what that's called? I said, no. <laughs> it's called Fat or Pregnant. Oh. What do you do? 
I went back and I got my wife. I put my arm around her and I pulled her up to the gentleman. New York fresh in my mind. Thinking about that. And I looked that man dead in his eye and I said, you listen here and you listen good. I don't know you and I don't know where you're from. But clearly, she's fat. And we got the fuck out of there. I was not getting my head split open for a woman I plan on divorce. That is not. In no way is that happening. No way. And, and once she had divorced, she had to start dating again, which is tough. And um, I was at the gym the other day, and there was this, there was a larger lady working out, really, really heavy set, and she was working out really, really hard. And um, I, all I could think was, why doesn't she just date black guys? That seems so much easier. <laughs> but next to her was this, uh, was this stout, stout lady as well, with long blonde hair, and I walked up thinking, what am I going to say? How do I close this deal? How do I get this to work out? And she turned around, and she was a dead ringer for Dog the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> and that is the best blow job I ever got in Planet Fitness, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm Mike Boyer. Thank you very much, Philadelphia! <laughs>